this place right here turns red hot. Um, tunas, wahoos, kingfish, sailfish, yellowtail, grouper snapper, all in the same spot. It's just a tit that sticks out and uh, the updwellings bring the bait around it and it's just insane, it gets insane when, it gets, when the conditions are right. All these pretty good flags down there. This school of yellowtail here is extremely smart. They get fished a lot, so they've been educated throughout the years. Yeah. They, uh, they're extremely big yellowtail, but extremely smart. So sometimes you gotta pull the line out of the water to uh, pull all the lines out of the water to get them to come up and eat and get comfortable and then start to fish them. All kinds of different tricks. You always gotta mix it up with them. Change the weight, change the bait. A little current going down there today. Sometimes they come and just commit suicide, but other times you really gotta mess with them a lot to get them to eat. Yeah, these fish would chew a little better if the sun would come out. Every time the sun pops out, the Boom. fish just start going off. There we go, there's a fish on them. I think I'll go ahead and just pop that one. How's that? See if we can get this guy in. Before, that's more running like a king now than a flag. No, these are big flags. Big flags? Big flag. Hopefully get him in before the back of Ruta gets a hold of him. Ugh. I tell you what, if this was smell-o-vision out here, this chum that Rush mixes up reminds you of your worst nightmare. Well, we'll let you use your own imagination to figure out what it smells like, but oh, you're lucky it ain't smell-o-vision. <laughs> and that, brother, is one beautiful flag. And these are in the snapper family? They are in the snapper family, yellowtail snapper. Let's get that hook out. He'll be in, he'll be, he's gonna be in the cooler quick, but whew, is there a size limit on these? There are 12 inches there, Blair. And that one, that one there is every bit of 12 inches. No doubt. It'd be good on a sandwich, huh? Oh, uh, excellent, excellent. Now here's a, here's a mistake a lot of people make. They'll take their line and they'll put it in the crease of their finger. Well, he just ate it. They'll put it in the crease of their finger and it'll, the fish will feel it. All right, we're gonna let him eat that one. There we go. Stay on, buddy. Oh yeah, just want to invite him to dinner, is all. As you can see, we're not in the Bay Ranger today. It's, getting, it's, a, it's a little too rough for the Bay Ranger. That is a flag, and I, I think I definitely just upped my other one that I just caught. This guy, I'm gonna go back here. I, I don't think I could lift this guy out, so I'm just gonna uh, get him like that. Look at how the sun came out for you for the biggest one of the day here. Woo! Is that a pretty one? That's a beautiful one there. And you can come out and do you can come out and do this all day long. All day long, Blair. They just once they come up, they're ready to eat. And how long have you been doing this? The past 15 years. There he goes, he's getting nervous. There he is. Flag's doing this. Now if this is a flag, I am amazed. There he comes up. Ugh. It's a flag, he's trying to get away from something. Oh man, it's a flag. It's a big flag. That's my, that's my biggest flag ever. Look at them, they're going off now, brother. You got to do this if you've never done it. Look at the size of this one. I don't even know if I can lift this guy in. Woo, that's a nice one there, brother. That is a good flag. Let's go in the boat with you, baby. Wow. That is why they call them a flag. Look at that big old tail. Whew. Beautiful fish. Hey, we're gonna catch a few more of these little flags here, put them in the box, and then we're gonna go do something else. What are we gonna go, go do? We're gonna go fish on the racks if we can, get some tunas, amberjack. What'd you call the amberjacks earlier? Reef donkeys. Reef donkeys. We'll be right back with hopefully some reef donkeys. But man, that's a nice yellow tail. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. Tell you, that'll wear you out reeling it back up. It will. <laughs> 240 feet, that's almost a football field deep. 60 more feet it would be. We have changed spots now. We're fishing in what rush? 240 feet of water from what the old depth finder says over there. And we're gonna try to get us a reef donkey. <laughs> oh, he whacked it. Come on now. There he is. Ooh, a reef donkey. Uh, 
see how this old EXT does in 240 feet of water. <laughs> What else is on this wreck, Rush? Now, Blair, you'll be able to tell what kind of fish that is by the way it uh, bites halfway through the, through the battle. If it starts floating up halfway through, it's a mutton snapper. If it fights you the whole way, dogs you the whole way, it's going to be a reef donkey. One of them good old reef donkeys. That's right. Every fish has got its own fight. Well, this one here is coming up easy now. It's starting to. <laughs> he said, well, I want to go back down to the bottom. So what are you thinking, reef donkey? Uh, probably. <laughs> what's, the, what's the biggest donkeys you get off the wreck here? I've caught them up to 80 pounds. Nice. That's big. Well, welcome back. As you can see, we've changed. Mother Nature's being kind to us. Of course, it's being kind because we got a fish on the line, but what I'm talking about is it's a Chamber of Commerce nice sunny day now. This water is absolutely turning beautiful. We're going to see what we got on the other end of this. He don't want to come up. Okay, maybe a level line. Level line might be in order for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> well, so much for your mutton. So much for the mutton. That amberjack must have came up and ate your mutton. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a pull. Woo. <sighs> Tell you what, you get a local Key West captain here that says he's going to get your rod bent and make your arm sore, you better believe him. And if you want to book Captain Rush here, make sure you go to the website because he's going to be on there for sure as a Key West captain. If you want to come catch yellowtail, reef donkeys, or whatever, just go to the website. Don't forget about it, addictofishing.com. Because I tell you what, I thought I had this EXT stretched once before. It is flat getting stretched now, brother. <laughs> mm. I wanna see you, baby. Uh. Come on now. There he comes. Oh, I think I just saw some color. See some color? I think. My spool doesn't look like it's filled up enough yet to see color. Man, this dirty water, you know, you must see color too soon. Even with these costas, this water's a little dirty. It is. It is. Coming up. <laughs> Might be a mutton. I tell you what, you got any shallower wrecks? <laughs> <laughs> that brother is a nice AJ, otherwise known as what do you call him? Reef donkey. A reef donkey. <laughs> That's a one you just fight on a spinning rod there. Y yes, it are. Can't grab this guy. Look at this guy. Ooh. Ooh, you got a pair of pliers? Yeah, here, here I got it, I got it. Look at this fish. <laughs> Emma Jack, baby. That's a nice one. That's a beauty. And they're full of them down there, huh? Oh, full of them. Now when you release them, you just shove them straight down? Straight down. Look at the purple colors on that thing. Is that a beautiful fish or what? Let's get him back in the water, what do you think? Yeah. All right, Bubba. Straight back down you go quick as it can be. That was some Rod Ben and Drag Screaming Television there, brother. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back with something else. I don't know what. Captain Rush is gonna put us on all kinds of stuff today. Ah, thank you, brother. Good job, man. Well, welcome back, it's the last part of the day. We're hitting this last spot. There's one of his real hot permit spots, so we're gonna see what kind of permit we can get on the boat here. Hopefully I can catch one of my favorite fish. 
Y'all stick around, we'll see what happens here. They're right under us. Right under us, he says. Jig down. That was a big one that came up and looked. Fish on. <laughs> they were right under us. Oh. You don't know he's hooked yet, I don't think. <clears throat> now he does. Now he does. Come on to me, baby. He's going to light it up. He said he's looking for his runway. <laughs> if that ain't music to my ears. Uh, no, I didn't eat it yet. Didn't eat it yet? Oh, yeah, I did. No, I didn't eat it. I'm looking at it. Now these things get sideways and they're just like a manhole car. Oh, especially when there's current like this. Look at them back there. Look at them, look at them off the surface. Wow, what behind. a school of permit. Look at Dude, these so, things will eat a fly. I brought my fly oh, rod. Oh, yeah, they'll eat a fly. I brought my fly rod. I've never caught a permit on fly. Maybe we can try that here a little bit later. Possibility? Oh yeah, whatever you want. Man. I would love to catch one on fly. I mean, I don't, I don't throw a fly rod much, but when I do, I like to throw it when I know they're going to eat it. Because right. <laughs> usually you take that buggy whip and you're back and forth a million times, and they never do eat it. A, a double permit. <laughs> uh oh. Like I'm over you. <sighs> wow. This is incredible. Doubled up. Doubled up. Doubled up on the peas. Oh, uh -oh. oh, 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 don't. You got to cape fear him to death, man. <laughs> uh, little bitty sticks, great big fish. You got to love it. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Break you off? Yeah. Oh, well. We'll get one out of two. Look at that hammerhead. We're not gonna let that hammerhead eat this fish. Ugh. That was a giant hammerhead. I'd like to see if we can get him up here to get a shot of him for you guys out there. But this permit ugh, is gonna go back in the water and hopefully not become food. Look at him, look at, look at, look at oh. the hammerhead right behind him. There he is, right behind us. No. That is a nice fish, man. Adios, brother. That was awesome. Rush. One of my best days in Key West ever. Good, if y'all ever want to do this, make sure you go to the website, addictedfishing.com, get a good look at his face. We don't know what we're going to call the show yet, but it's, it's Southwest Key West, and this man knows the spots. So y'all book him, and y'all can come do this anytime. I want to take just a second out and show you what we were using out there today. For those great big flags this morning, we were catching those great big yellowtail. The pilchards were working great. They kind of got wise to them. So we went with a real long leader. I got about a 15 foot leader, about a 15 pound test using eight pound Power Pro. And Captain Rush makes these little hooks up here. They're eagle claw hooks, but what he does, he takes this lead and puts on them. Then he takes these great looking little Mahara baits like this. I, I call them glass minnows. But you just, you throw them over in the water and you put about six or eight on your hook like this. You, they just stay on the hook. You take a whole handful of them, throw them in the water at the same time, let them drift back, and eventually one of them big flags will eat one with the hook in it and set up on him, and you saw the end result on it. For the permit that we were catching, except for the one I got on fly, you can go to the website and check out the other bait checks on that and see how we rigged. Same rig we always use for the permit. Just a, It was just a hook inside of a crab, and you throw it out and you just let it sit. Simple, simple little rigs. There's your bait check. You can come book Captain Rush and catch fish just like we did today. For you fly rodders out there, this is for y'all. Because this is something I don't do too much is throwing the fly. We're gonna see if we can get one of these permit on fly. I mean, when you can, when you can throw a fly rod and you know they're, they're gonna eat, there ain't nothing better than, than catching them on the fly. Look at them out there, they're just on top sitting there. For a slow strip. Dirty water's got them right on top and they can't see the leader and they just, they're challenged. Fish on, buddy, I there got me go. a permit on fly. Ugh. Permit on a fly rod. Check it out, 
<laughs> Unbelievable. Said I always wanted to catch a permit on the fly. I guess my next trip is going to be doing it on the flats on the fly. He come up and just slurp that little crab pattern down. Nice. How's that? That was sweet, Rush. You like that, I huh? tell you, man. Ugh. Talk about a pull. Well, for all you people that sent me emails saying, man, I wish you'd throw a fly every once in a while. Well, here it is. And it's a heck of a fish, too. I hope y'all saw that hit. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> that is awesome. You know, the only thing that, that I would like better about these Fenor fly reels is if they had the sound that those uh, MLX yeah. did. Yeah. But you know what? It don't matter. This is incredible. Permit on the fly. This is sweet, brother. If you get a chance to do it, do it. Look at that permit. Oh. I have got to get one of these on the wall now. I don't have one on the wall. Oh, no. The only fish I don't have on the wall. I get Brown's taxidermy out of Port Canaveral. There's, there's Brown's taxidermy plug for you. But uh, Brown's does a heck of a job on permit. A heck of a job. Uh, so he will be doing this one for me real soon. Nice. Got to have something special because it's on fly, you know? Oh, yeah. And that's a nice one. Well, I think any fish you can catch on a fly rod's got to be nice. Oh, that's, that's what I tell everybody. Any fish on a fly rod's a good fish. <laughs> All right, I'm back up. Bring it straight to you. Yeah, just like a big mirror. There he is. Swallow it good? No, nope, right in the corner. Just like it was meant to be. All right, cool. Let me put this up in front of the camera. All right. Get that beautiful sunlight shot on them. All right, well, welcome back again. We're gonna close the show again. I had to do one on fly. And that's a nice one, catch on fly. Oh, yeah. Rush. Nice job, bud. What a day. Odyssey, fishing charters. Go to our website and book you, man. Come catch these beautiful fish. We're gonna let this guy go. Just toss them straight in. Straight in. There he goes. See you next week, right here on Addictive Fishing. Scared of the past, scared to give it all And in my last, between every hello and goodbye I had a wall, before every breath, it ends me in cry You out for me forever, and I couldn't stay Like the offer, but come back on another day With things one more convenient and uncomplicated Things are never simple And everything's related If I could have you To myself For just one day I'd say a thousand I'm saying Things you mean to me I can do this, watch. It ain't as easy as it sounds. <laughs>